there are a lot of benefits to a program like this, in addition to saving lives and improving access to treatment. We've seen dramatic reductions in crime. We've also seen a tremendous increase in trust built up between our law enforcement partners and the communities. We're seeing an increase in people having the confidence and the trust, public trust in police officers to call and say, you know, can I plug in my son or daughter into your program? It feels like you're on cloud nine. <laughs> it feels like it's the best thing in the world. When you see somebody doing so good and they, and they come up to you and they hug you and they say thank you, thank you, you, you saved my life. What Parry brings to the table when you're thinking about partnering with Parry is they allow you to move quickly to scale. And what we try to do is equip them with that training, the tools, the technical assistance, and the other support and resources that they need to implement a program in their own community. The training that alone that we received from Parry has been hugely beneficial to our patrol force. Sending officers to training on understanding addiction, how to talk to people suffering from addiction. It gave officers a lot more insight in how to approach the problem, where we never had that before. PARI offers a resource for us to learn from our mistakes and really have education and policies that other people are doing, procedures and documents that they're using, and understanding other communities too, because it's easy to get isolated in our own silos, in law enforcement or healthcare or wherever we're in. And until we start talking to each other, we're never gonna actually come up with a comprehensive solution. They offer an annual PARI conference where there are police departments and other agencies throughout the whole country who go to this one summit. There is valuable information that you can take back to your police department. It's community policing 101. You're going to be able to engage the community and have this level of interaction with the community like no other program. I try to think about what are the things that you can do right now with the resources you already have. And even if you're starting small, start, you know, you are in a position to save lives and you have a, an obligation to try to do that. So we want to give you the tools to help you better serve your community. There is just no downside for a police department to join PARI. The leveraging of the voice of law enforcement across the country is changing public policy such that we can begin to turn the tide on the opioid crisis.